Why do Disney Star Wars shows always come out bland? Why do they always make us believe they have a great idea only to turn around and make the story about something else completely? I feel like I felt these emotions of being played for a fool at least five times now. Why Disney Star Wars always feels like a one step forward and two steps back? I have at least four reasons for why that is. Firstly, the bait and switch that they perfected over all of their shows on Disney+. In every live action story they offered, the hook for the show and the actual story were two completely different things. Let's list them. In Mandalorian, and correct me if I'm wrong because it has been a hot minute since I've seen the show, the hook of the show was the history and culture of Mandalore and delving into the Mandalorians as a tribe. Species? I don't know. I've seen two seasons and I'm still confused about who they are, where they came from and why their ideology makes zero sense to me. Then it became clear that the show wasn't going to be about Mandalorians, but about meaningless side quests and Baby Yoda. Then came Boba Fett. The hook got me interested in adventures with the Sand People, making it a first time in the history of Star Wars where they weren't portrayed as mindless animals, but as a tribe with rich history and traditions. Obi-Wan really broke my heart because they promised a story that would revolve around Obi-Wan's time as Ben Kenobi on Tatooine and him protecting Luke from the Empire, only to dismiss it after one episode and center entire story about rescuing young Leia and making Obi-Wan a complete Jedi failure in the process. Endor offered interesting premise, Cassian joining a gang of Highlander rebels to fight the Empire only to abandon them after two or three episodes and suddenly making a story about a completely different set of characters. I don't even know what to tell you, I've lost interest when he arrived at the galactic prison. Why would you make me sit through few episodes of bonding with the gang that holds zero merit on the rest of the story? And then there's Ahsoka. Don't get me wrong, I am still watching and moderately enjoying some parts of the show, but again, it feels like for better or for worse, the hook of the show, which was Ezra's disappearance and mystery, got completely overshadowed by Anakin's cameo. Maybe because from the get-go, Ahsoka's storyline didn't feel like a main character, but rather a wise mentor that tries to reign an unruly hero of the story, which was Sabine. You may ask why would that matter, that there is such a big discrepancy between conflict or problem or a character introduction and the rest of the story. Well, it's because a narrative of the story is all about a promise made to an audience and then delivering on that promise. A mystery without a who done it investigation doesn't work. A rom-com without a love interest being present for an entirety of the story would feel absurd. Why then would we be satisfied with an action adventure Adventure that either holds one adventure on pause to explore another or exchanges characters like disposable props, then adventure doesn't become an adventure but rather a list of meaningless side quests. Which brings me to my second point, the middle of the story problem. All Star Wars projects are written without a proper structure to the story. All of them seem to rely heavily on the introduction which is Act 1, and the final showdown, Act 3, and completely dismissing Act 2, which is an actual meat of the story. Every Disney Plus show offers a good hook of the story, and a more or less entertaining conclusion, where all of this stuff blows up and mindless viewers clap because action. But we don't actually go anywhere, either psychologically with the characters, we don't explore their struggles, problems, 
things they love or cherish, their relationships are not evolving and the characters don't grow as people, or physically we don't feel the adventure, we don't explore the world of the story, we don't learn new things about it. We just wander aimlessly via character that seems to be without a purpose. The story meanders pointlessly, not offering anything in the middle part of the story that would then give the ending meaning. And the meandering part is tangible because of the third point, which is pacing problem. Why is it that fighting sequences have the same rhythm as sad conversations. Everything feels artificially prolonged and slowed down, even in the thick of action. There is no differentiation in tempo between the scenes, and even the plot twists and climaxes feel boring and lifeless. In this we can circle back to the middle of the story problem. When your narrative doesn't have good scenes that fill the acts to the brim, no moment will do the work for you. And I feel like Disney writers are too preoccupied with moments. Every second of the show aims to be beautiful, iconic, cinematic, either emotionally or visually but it doesn't land because it doesn't carry the weight that is supposed to be built up throughout Act 2. The surface level approach to the storytelling brings me to the fourth and final point. Disney Star Wars wants desperately to be prestigious television, without doing the actual work required for narratives like this to succeed. Now here's a quick television history lesson for you. TV shows used to be divided into two categories, network shows and prestigious TV, which was mainly HBO. Now, because television as a whole switched to a streaming model, which entailed bigger budgets and smaller seasons, everyone assumed that all television is prestigious now, when that couldn't be further from the truth. And as always, the devil is in the details. Prestigious television is supposed to feel like a 10 hour long movie. Episodes are not episodes, they are chapters. It always entails complex narrative structures, psychological depth with character development and a more mature subjects explored. With Disney Plus, it feels like writers and executives so show like Succession, Game of Thrones or Mr. Robot and started imitating only the surface level aspects of it. Yes, Disney shows look expensive, they are enjoyable to look at, but they don't offer the same depth beyond the visuals. In simple terms, they don't read as a smart movie experience, even though they try to look like the art they are imitating. The shows I mentioned before were chock full of scenes with slower pacing, character-driven moments, and yet we were never bored throughout the seasons, because we knew that those moments served something in the end. In Star Wars shows, those moments are everywhere, but they are meaningless. Characters introduced in one episode are gone in the next, and in the story that feels adrift and where nothing matters, why are we expected to feel emotional every other second? Why are Star Wars suddenly bland, devoid of feeling, when all their focus goes not into the narrative, but into forcing us to feel every single second? So these are my thoughts about Star Wars these days. I'm sorry, I've been sick for over two weeks and I'm still recovering, <laughs> but I'm feeling a lot better. So let's talk about Star Wars. I've just finished Ahsoka last episode, but it's still mediocre. Shouldn't this TV show be able to stand on its own completely? I mean, majority of people haven't seen Clone Wars and Rebels. Let's, let's just be real about this. Those characters were already developed and they just, didn't have to do much. They were not preoccupying themselves with actually developing these characters in the in the TV show. And that's my problem with it because I was watching it and not caring about it at all. I 
grew to love these characters because I was simultaneously watching Clone Wars and Rebels. All of the reunions, all of the relationships between the characters, they were completely meaningless and un anticlimactic in the TV show. Sabine and Ezra's reunion. I have to say that even though I still believe this was another bad Disney Plus project from Star Wars Universe, this is the only one I would be willing to continue if and when they do the second season. And this is why, because this is the only story they've created so far that is continuing Anakin's and Skywalker's legacy in this story. And I know people are like either so completely excited about Anakin's cameos that they completely disregard how mediocre the TV show is as a whole. And don't get me wrong, I was excited about that episode as well. I liked it a lot. I think it was the best episode, but that's the point because that's the only episode that felt like they put incredible amount of effort in and emotions into because it's so obvious that everyone, audience and writers alike, only care about Anakin in the Star Wars universe. And unless we somehow start putting as much care into another characters, we're never going to develop a good Star Wars story. But Ahsoka as a character has so much potential to carry that Star Wars and Skywalker legacy forward in a way that Rey never could in sequels because whole Rey's existence and Palpatine's return in the sequels was in a complete contradiction to Anakin's Chosen One prophecy. It was basically destroying the whole mythology of Star Wars. I'm equal parts disappointed about this show, but I also liked that they were doing it in a spirit of Star Wars, if that makes sense. If, if you can understand what I'm talking about, it just felt like for the first time this was a Star Wars story. And that's largely because of the fact that Ahsoka has a direct connection to Anakin and that his story is somehow being explored further in this. So we'll see. I've seen majority of Star Wars, Disney Star Wars. And as I said in this video, it's so incredibly hard to enjoy them to the fullest because they are always always mediocre. They are not so bad that you hate them, but they are mediocre enough that you feel apathetic towards them. And I honestly, I don't know what's worse because it just pisses me off that these writers can't understand what makes good shows good. You know, it's like they've, um, I don't know, seen Dune and thought to themselves, oh, this is what makes a good movie, people walking and talking slowly. That's how I see Star Wars these days. I understand people saying that enough is enough, that every show, every movie is filled to the brim with cameos that are supposed to make us feel nostalgic and that is carrying whole story on its back and that shouldn't be the case like Anakin should be the cherry on the top in this and not the whole point I think I'm gonna do another video specifically about Anakin and Ahsoka and Rey I'm gonna also do a few videos about my favorite horrors and horror tv shows this month because it's Halloween so thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and commenting. And if you haven't subscribed, please do help me grow this channel and I'll see you later.